Hey, what's up, everyone? Raging Gold Negro here, having way too much fun, as always. And today, I want to talk about a little something known as the pendulum swinging back hard in the other direction. Because in current year, we seem to be on the cusp of that. In the past year, we've had, you know, Dave Chappelle testing the waters with his bits. We've had Ricky Gervais coming out right now. It seems people have had enough of this woke-ass puritanical censorship culture that seems to have been dominating since current year minus five. And as the pendulum swings back in the other direction, these Puritans who've been torturing us for the past few years will do what every loser does the moment they realize they're about to be defeated. What they're going to try is they're going to take off their uniforms, take off their masks, and try to blend back in with the crowd and pretend they didn't do nothing. They're, oh, no, no, I wasn't a concentration camp guard. I've always just been a humble farmer working these fields. Yup, gee golly, I don't, why would you even assume otherwise? It happens every time. When one side's about to lose, then they suddenly just try to blend back in with the general population and pretend they did nothing. Right now, though, this is current year, and these people are stupid. So unfortunately for them, they're pretty damn stupid, and all these years, as they've been canceling and deplatforming everybody else, they were so confident that they're on the right side of history. They were so confident that they would win, that they've been doing all of this horrible shit under their real names. All we have to do is remember who these people are and what they did and treat them accordingly. They can't hide in the crowd anymore. So the next thing they're going to try, I'm going to call this right now. The next thing they're going to try is they're going to try their best to claim they had no choice. They're, oh, I didn't have a choice. I was just doing what I had to do to keep my job. If I didn't tow the party line, I'd be canceled. So that makes it okay to cancel everybody else? Like, well, it was either them or me. Okay, fair enough. Now the roles are reversed. Now you get to pay for what you did. It's fucking awesome. So don't accept that excuse, by the way. This also does happen every time. So just take a look at what they've been doing. They have actively been hindering us who've been trying to fix the problem, who've been trying to make things better. They've been standing in our way and trying to destroy us. Then all of a sudden, once they realize they're not on the right side of history, they're on the losing side, now suddenly they want in. They, they want to be a part of the same thing they vehemently opposed all these years. This shit is like those, uh, those guys who went to join ISIS and then ISIS lost. Now they're begging to be let back into their home countries. Now nah, fuck you. And people will say, like, oh, well, they have nowhere else to go. Who the fuck cares? Does anyone care what happens to these terrorists now? Why should we let them back in? They specifically defected to the enemy to fight against us. And then we defeat the enemy. And, uh, and actually, you know what? Let them back in so we can try them for treason. Because that, that's exactly what they fucking did. If we're going to let them back in, it needs to be only for that reason. And it's the same shit with these Puritans, to be honest with you. They tried their best to stand in our way as we tried to fix the problem. And uh, now that the problem's being fixed anyway, despite their efforts to stop us, now they just want us to forget everything they've done, forget the, the part they played in it. These parasites are incapable of making anything of value themselves, which is why they attach themselves to other people's success and drag them down in the process. How many times have you seen these parasites build something up from nothing? No, they, they only know how to destroy. They will stand in your way as you try to build something up from nothing, and once you succeed, then suddenly they demand to be let in because, oh, look at these guys gatekeeping us out of all this success. And eventually they kick you out and take over and collapse what you've built. 
Don't let them do it. Now look at Comicsgate, for example. Ethan Van Sciver, John Malin, Art T. Bear, and a bunch of other big-name pros risked their livelihoods to strike out on their own and be free of this broken system. They knew what they were doing. They knew that they would never be able to work in the dying legacy industry again if they do this. And they did it anyway. And these are people with families to take care of, by the way. And they were the bigger man and said, this ain't right. We're going to have to fix it. Meanwhile, the fucking dickless wonders that stayed within the system keep kissing the hand that slaps them. They Well, gee golly, what else am I going to do? If I don't tow the party line, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to end up like Ethan. Yeah, how fucking horrible would that be, right? Ending up like Ethan and making a million bucks over two years? Oh, that's just fucking horrible, isn't it? Wouldn't you much rather make minimum wage? That's just such a... That's that's a much better option, yeah. Now, you wouldn't want to end up like Ethan now, would you? So, the so-called comic pros routinely attack Comicsgate. But I'd be willing to bet money. Once Marvel and DC flop, they will be showing up at the gates and demanding to be let in in Comicsgate. Yesterday, they were saying you are literally Hitler and the worst person ever. Today, they're begging you to take them along as you build up your new industry. People like this can't be trusted. People who only show up after everyone else did all the work and took all the risk can't be trusted. You should just ignore them. Oh, also, there is a saying, by the way, Be nice to people on your way up because you're going to see those same people again on your way down. This is so dang true. How many people have you seen that have just completely, they they get a big head. They they achieve success. They finally, uh, they, they make it and then they forget about everyone who helped them. And they start treating the people that, you know, help them like shit. And then uh, they lose that success. And they wonder why nobody is helping them out anymore. Yeah, that's why. See, as you're rising through the ranks and after you've achieved your success, you need to remember who got you there. Or else it's not going to end well for you at all. And there's also a huge difference between people who are obviously forced into making one or two comments denouncing you. Like that video Stan Lee was forced to make by Marvel denouncing more racism and all that shit. You could clearly tell that somebody gave him a script and said, you're going to do this or else. There's a difference between that and... And those who go after you with a religious fervor. People who can't shut the fuck up about you. Who are actively trying to destroy you. If you see any of the latter pretend like they only did it because they had to protect their jobs. Even if that was true. You'd have to be a fucking idiot to excuse what they did. To excuse that behavior. My advice at the end of this rant. Help those who helped you while you were a nobody. Those who didn't help or harm you, the fence sitters who just tried to stay out of it, be selective with them. If you really believe in what they're doing on a person-by-person basis, yeah, sure, give a hand to those who you think uh, deserve it. But you don't owe them anything, remember that. The only people you owe something to are those who helped you climb to the top. Those who just watched and did nothing, stayed on the sidelines, you don't owe them shit. You're welcome to help them if you feel like it, obviously, but you don't owe them anything. Then there's those who actively tried to tear you down. What about them? Now, I'm I'm not going to say go after them like they went after you, but definitely don't help them when they get what they deserve. If they spent years trying to tear you down and it backfires on them, and they're the ones that end up losing everything, just point and laugh. Don't go after them. Don't harass them, stalk them, whatever. But when they show up 
crying that they lost everything, laugh in their fucking face. That's just my suggestion. I mean, you're welcome to do whatever you want, but that's what I would do. (laughs) Yeah, don't get in the way of people who get what they deserve. As I keep saying, one of the reasons our society is in such a sorry state is because we keep getting in the way of natural selection. We keep stopping stupid people from facing the consequences of their actions. We got to stop doing that. We got to let nature run its course. Let Darwin do his fucking job. And let me reiterate, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to tell anyone else what to do. If you want to extend a helping hand to someone who gleefully tried to make you homeless just a few years earlier, be my guest. I'm not your mom. You could do whatever you want. But don't come crying to me when you end up with yet another knife in your back. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thanks for listening. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.